As the wait went on, all eyes on the screen relaying live images from NASA ahead of Uganda's maiden satellite launch to the International Space Station, news came that the rocket could not take off. The launch was aborted for today. So as we were ready and uh, you can see the rocket that started the launch pad, the, lo that's, the rocket is attached to the launch pad and then it is fired and with that energy it goes into space. As they were preparing, the fire alarm went off. And that is not a signal that they can uh, allow to continue. So NASA called off the launch and they will try tomorrow again. It is part of Uganda's space program started three years ago with training of Ugandan space engineers in a bid to end reliance on other countries for space information. Now, when you don't have your own satellite, you have to buy this information from those who own. And the information is expensive. So you only buy a little of what you need. Now having our own satellite means we have our own room. We will be the primary recipients of all the information that comes from this satellite. And we will get it. Also the other advantage, when you have a, 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 NAS station, uh, sorry, a, a satellite, now you can talk with your neighbor. Can I get the information from mine and also from yours? Because you also have something to share. The launch is now expected to happen on Monday, ahead of deployment into low Earth orbit in December. It can accommodate people plus equipment. It is a big multinational project. Now, once it arrives there, preparations are made for it to be sent to the low Earth orbit. There is a robotic arm on the International Space Station that is going to release the satellite into the low Earth orbit. It is only until then that it will start orbiting and for us to start communicating with it. When in low Earth orbit, according to the Science, Technology and Innovation Secretariat, the satellite will be controlled by Ugandans at Impoma Station. However, the minister was non-committal on how much the project would cost. Edward Mahumza, NTV. thought it's about three years.